What if you get an assistant for your home today? I'm talking, okay Google, you're in luck because look what the mailman brought today. You know the Google Nest audio speaker, right? If you don't, it's a home virtual assistant device from Google. It's been released by Google in 2020. Let's see if it stands for today's standards. First, a quick unboxing. Oh, you open it like that. And ooh. Okay, it's smaller than I thought it would be. It has this rubberish uh, bottom, so it's not that slippery. That's great. And the feeling of this material is just like the Google Home Mini. Have this little microphone switch here, the power port, and that's it. This is it. Let's see what else is in the box. I'm just gonna put it here. Check out the rest of the box. I'll take this out. Let's see what else. Ooh, this is the power brick. So this is what you get, the power cord and the Google Nest. So what I'm gonna do is plug this here, here. That was a nice. Ciao. Hola. Per prima cosa, scarica l'app Google Home. Para empezar, descarga la aplicación Google Home. Now let's see what it takes to set it up. You can use the Google Home app on an Android or iPhone to set it up. Basically, you just select your location, you select the Wi-Fi, you connect to the device, you let your app know where the smart speaker is, and everything else is simple. Lastly, let's play with it just a little. You can ask it the weather, like, okay Google, what's the weather like tomorrow? Tomorrow in Cluj-Napoca, there will be scattered thunderstorms with a high of 29 and a low of 17. There's a volume over here, up, down, over here, and stop in the middle. The stop in the middle is actually quite nice because I have a home mini and it didn't stop. I had to unplug it. But this little center touch button is amazing. Now, the sound quality on this is fantastic. It's the best assistant I ever had and the sound quality is full of bass and full of sound. I heard and tried the other sound assistants, none of them compared to this. Not even the little Apple HomePod and not even Alexa. This is actually quite nice. It has a good speaker inside and it's very, very quick. However, sometimes when I say, hey Google, play Radio Paradise, Streaming Radio Paradise from TuneIn. It seems it's like it seems like it's going to stream it, but will it stream it? Nope. I have to ask it about three times until it actually plays any radio here in Romania. I've searched the internet and I've seen other people complain about this specific thing. So radio is not going to work all the time. Everything else does. For example, hey Google, anything on my calendar for today? There's one entry for this week, tomorrow at 9.30 p.m. Yeah, let's not go into that. If you wanna call someone on Google Duo, you can do that with the Nest. If you want to play something on your Chromecast on your TV, you can do that with the Nest. You can even control the lights in your house if they're connected to the Nest. The Google Home app allows you to connect to a bunch of devices. It even works on your iPhone and of course Android device. You can play a lot with it. You can ask it to, hey Google, tell me a joke. Here's one. Where do elves go Christmas shopping on Orchard Road? Santa Point. Hey Google, set a timer for 10 seconds. Okay, 10 seconds, and that's starting now. It's actually counting now from 10 seconds, and it's gonna make a beautiful sound comparing to the Google. The Google Home Mini had a. Doo -doo -doo -doo. This is much better. Hey Google, stop. However, it's not perfect and it has bugs and the AI doesn't understand you perfectly. For example, hey Google, don't tell me the weather tomorrow. 
Tomorrow in Cluj Napoca, I just be said, sunny with a high of 31 and a low of 14. I just said, don't tell me that. Hey Google, don't tell me a joke. I once stayed up all night trying to figure out where the sun went. Then it dawned on me. Haha. Ha. Hey Google, do not tell me a joke. Okay, here you go. A magician was walking down the street one day, when all of a sudden, he turned into a supermarket. It's not that cool, even though it understands my words, as in puts letters and creates words in its head, but if I tell it not to tell me a joke, not to do something, it does something, what kind of a smart device is that okay it has its uses but it's still in 2022 limited and this is the best device you can get with the best audio quality as a google home assistant so i'm gonna say okay google good night i'm sorry but i can't put your phone on silent from google home on the 26th in Cluj napoca it'll be sunny with a high of 31 and a low of 14. what time should i set the alarm for don't set any alarms. No problem. No new alarm set. Good night, Chip. At least it understands some things, but what's nice, it, it creates a cricket sound for about 30 minutes to an hour as you go to sleep and it shuts down automatically. I'm Chip, I'll see you next time.